Hello and welcome to My Support Solutions YouTube channel. In this video session, we will learn about transaction dependent fee status control in SAP. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon, and select all notifications to get the latest and free updates after every new video upload. If you like our video, then please click on the like button, also share our videos. So first we will discuss about the topic and then we will do practical. We have three types of field status control, account group specific, transaction dependent and company code dependent. In our earlier video, we have learned about account group specific field status control. Now this video is for transaction dependent. Our requirement is in XK01 that is creation of a vendor, reconciliation account field should be mandatory that is required entry right now this field is optional in xk01 we want to change this mandatory field then our second requirement is in xk02 that is change vendor this reconciliation account field should be display only in other words no one will able to change the reconciliation account field in xk02 that is change vendor so these are our two requirements and to fulfill these requirements we will follow these three practical steps first we will use transaction code ob23 this t code is for transaction dependent field selection second we will create vendor master in xk02 uh, sorry in xk01 and we will observe whether the reconciliation account field is required or a mandatory field or not and in XK02 that is change vendor master we will observe whether the reconciliation account field is display only field or not so now we will do practical first step we will use is OB23 transaction dependent field selection so type OB23 enter we require in XK02 uh, sorry in XK01 that is creation of a vendor centrally so here create vendor centrally double click then select company code data and select account management we require reconciliation account field as required entry or mandatory field at the time of creation of a vendor master in xk01 create vendor centrally so select or save now our second requirement is regarding xk02 that is change vendor we will take back double click on change vendor centrally double click on company code data double click on account management and here select or change reconciliation account as display this is our second requirement reconciliation account field should be display only no one can able to change any reconciliation GL from this field save now we will try to create one vendor master in XK01 and we will observe whether the reconciliation GL is required entry or not company code purchasing organization account group enter title recon vendor recon address country region enter bank details enter now here reconciliation account field is mandatory if you press enter see fill in all required entry fees reconciliation account field is mandatory we have to enter our reconciliation account field earlier this field was display display only uh, sorry earlier this field was 
optional and we have changed this field to mandatory here you can see the tick that is this field is mandatory we will give reconciliation account payment terms done procedure is not required order currency and save now we will save our, our vendor master 23 number vendor has been created now we will uh, use xk02 transaction code and we will observe the reconciliation field ideally this field should be display only we have changed uh, in ob23 as per our requirement so we will use transaction code xk02 enter select accounting info enter and now here see in uh, accounting information reconciliation account field is display only we will not able to change the field we can only display this field we can only view this field but change in this field will not be possible ok so this is how we can uh, use transaction dependent free status control ok so that's all for now in this video uh, again thank you for watching and if you have not uh, yet subscribed to our my support solutions youtube channel then click on the subscribe button and please like and share our videos